Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. I hope you've been having a great day and uh, we've been studying the Word of God this week. We've been looking at a series called Show and Tell. And uh, in this, we're looking at everyday objects, some useful, very useful objects and how that relates to the Word of God and the principle in God's Word. So today we have um, these objects and today we're looking at these vessels. Right? Uh, so we have these different vessels and we see that um, they are made of different materials, they are of different capacities, and they have different uses. And some of them are for everyday use. Uh, some of them are like this, yeah, could be when, when you come over for a meal. And uh, the other one, maybe I, I may not use it in the kitchen or I may not use it at the dining table, but uh, it's for a different use altogether. So, um, so we have these vessels here. And when we look at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 19 to 21, we read something about vessels. 2 Timothy 2, 2 and verse 19. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands having the seal. The Lord knows those who are His. And let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Verse 21. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. So when we read uh, this passage or these verses, we see that it's actually referring to us as followers of Christ, that we are the vessels living vessels for the master's use. Just like the vessels that we see here, we are the vessels. And we see that our use by the master, it largely depends on how we live our lives. And our use by the master for the purposes that he designs us to be is sometimes restricted if we name the name of Christ but we don't depart from iniquity. That's what the verse 19 says. The Lord knows those who are His and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. This is God's heart. This is His desire. Right? But if we don't do that, then we are restricting our use as a vessel in the Master's hand for its purposes. So God's desire is that we be vessels of honor in His hands. So today, maybe it's time to reflect and look into our lives and say, and, and, and look into our lives and really examine and see, am I being a vessel of honor in his hands? One of the things that we see here is um, the responsibility for that to be a vessel of honor. It, it, it lies on us. It is on us. The onus is on us. Yeah, because it, verse uh, 21 says, Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself, which means that if I take that responsibility and ownership and I, and I change the way I live my life, if I cleanse myself from whatever is restricting me uh, to be used by God, then I'll be a vessel of honor. So God is looking to us so we can today make a choice and let it be a call to action, not to conform to the pattern of the world, to cleanse ourselves from the things of the flesh, to keep ourselves by not indulging in the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, to sanctify ourselves, to set ourselves apart for the use of the master and to be prepared for every good work. We are vessels of honor, called to be vessels of honor, for use in the master's hands. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you consider us, Lord, as vessels, living vessels, vessels of honor, Lord. And we thank you, God. Our desire too is to be used by you. We want to be useful in your hands, Lord. And Father, we pray that we will not restrict ourselves, Lord. And I pray that we will take the leadership and the ownership to cleanse ourselves from whatever restricts us, to, that we will take that ownership to sanctify ourselves and to be prepared for every good work in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.